have a strong opinion on Inferno. Ah, uh, she's wrong. There you go. I'll say it straight up as it is. Imma, first kill. No tan does get a response. To Imma trying Ooh. to tap away. Jensi finds a trade. The jewel, he's not good for much either. There's a fourth man in sandbag. chewie has got to tap away at the head of No Tan here. Gone hit the shot. He's burning alive. No Tan will have him cooked up. Easy kill for him. Isaac. 1v3. I mean, at least he knows where everyone is. He knows a couple of these players are without armor, but not when No Tan <laughs> takes his head off the way he does. I don't know. They got worse in the break. They were like up to eight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I mean, maybe Game of Legion is just going to win 2-0 and shut us up. But I do feel like the Sonic have a better chance than what 1X better making it out to oh, be. Although, oh, oh. I have completely forgot that Acor exists. Brilliant double kill from him. Just caves in the A-hold. And now, of course, Anlele and Buzz have just got to make the most out of whatever here. Molly dropped in towards the left-hand side. Kios is going to deploy a smoke. Sonic truck one behind it to try and isolate these rotates. But Kios already besting it. Don't even think they're going to get a bomb plant in this round here. But Sonic, I don't see it happening. Great util, though. Yeah. Oh. Fake out on the bomb, waiting for any aggression to come out. Another tap. The bait not being stamped down on. And that's because you've got this flank. Look at Emma in towards the stairs. You can just reveal his position in a sec. There's the contact, and here comes the swings from Gamer Legion. Anna Lele tucked in on the bomb site. He's got no idea where Kios is, but it doesn't matter because Imma will strike. And that is why they didn't fall for the bait, because all along they had a, just a flanking Imma. Very nicely done. Very, very nice flank from Imma, as you said. We're very surprisingly uh, doing well right now. Three maps as well. Great shot from Yensi to open things up. But they haven't had a, haven't had a, an easy ride here, Masonic, and they continue. I mean, sure, make it look a little more difficult than it has to be. They look, they look very solid right now, and they are contending in tier two very, very well. Well, they are, especially with openers such as these. Acor will find an immediate response, but it's still the man up for Masonic. And they've got so much control out towards this A ramp position, but they don't need to commit on it. I, I really like this angle. This is, yeah, you've got to be careful for the player underneath you, you know, like the little peak towards the grating from under B. I think it's the only thing you've got to be cautious for, but as you can see, it works wonders when no one checks the angle. Play contact. When you play contact, Isaac, lining two up, and Lele does have his head on a swivel, enough to take down a second, though, and it does leave, leave Kios in the clutch. But he's living, and he will find the information on Anlele. Flashbang to go high. Place tuck. He's waiting for no tan swing and he does spot him out. Now he's going to try and catch him fully on oh. the cross. A little bit missed time with the smoke. Flashbang. Doesn't blind him. Both players kind of hit up right now. The flash goes high. It's a brilliant one. Kios so blind and Anlele just takes his time. Like... That's a part of the denial as well. Yeah. That was so. <laughs> I don't even know if I can take this round seriously. That was such oh. a like, funky April way to go around. Great day to start things off and a great first frag. Look at this though. So many players would just back away and play an advantage. Instead, he wants to develop the oh, angle. What? What is that nade? Oh, I don't think that was intentional. Oh, it no. might have been. Yeah, it was. Look at Genesee oh, scoping mate. on the angle. That is nerdy. Oh, I love it. Isaac, now tucked in here. No tan. You're going to need to clear close, mate. He's done verticality. Oh, no tan actually gets the team kill. Jeez. Here we go. Trying to get stuck in a little bit, maybe. 4v2. Not going to happen, I don't think, though, because Game of Legion have got numbers. That is our oh, mate. I actually can't get over what we've just watched, to be honest. <laughs> Cannot get over it. What about what about the time where No Tan walks into B bomb site and just disrupts this crossfire? Yeah, you, what, you reckon that's happening? Yeah. Not in a million years. What, Acor's low. Acor, Acor gets a little bit like, oh, I want to kill. A little, bit, a little bit too interested, too keen. Yeah. Yeah, fair. And no time goes, thank you very much. Kios has yet to find a kill. That's going to be the same case as well. 05. It's happening. Look at the grouping. Gen C. He could even take point. Take the first contact. That baits in. No time further. There's a wall bang into the mix. Oh, it's happening. I'm here for it. Yeah, here no we go. No way. He knew. He knew all along. Yeah, playing counters, right? B-Dog is, is just writing the scripts. He knows what's going on. 
Oh, up into the 2v2. I mean, Shiri and Imei, neither with a kit, neither with utility. No Taz just sitting in the smoke. I mean, you have to make a dangerous play like this one when you're such low HP. You are leaving it on the hand. The Gen C, Shui, a little bit labored. And the flank is beautiful for Imei to find the last. Hopefully, he didn't shoot the AWP off the map. He might have done. Yeah, he did. He shot the AWP off the map. Go catch it, mate. Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, at least he'll get an AK. I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, there you go. Pretty cool stuff to see. Game Allegiant do eventually get there, but yeah. We've actually been real. Nevertheless, it is a round still back in for Game Allegiant. And uh, quite prone to these slow starts, especially against Masonic. Yeah. However, this time around, they've uh, already answered back a lot sooner than they did on Overpass. I'm more interested in what's going on in the middle of the park because there, there's a free player gathering of Masonic fan meet up to try and greet Shuey. Trying to get the autograph, mate. Could be a kiss of death instead. Not if, uh, not if Shuey's been at the gym pushing him away. No. Unfortunately, oh. not going to happen. Oh. That three man middle play has just turned into three kills for Masonic, and that's going to be a fifth on the board. It's so sick to see how interchangeable they are, right? Because, again, you just expect that to be a slow round. I mean, Game of Legion kind of gamble a little bit early towards B, right? Because, obviously, Shui's playing a little more passive. They're trying to... I think the goal was to take ramp control. As you can see, A course, like, all the way yeah. down. But this is, like, way too late in the round anyways. But he's all the way down. And then, all of a sudden, you're, you're kind of in a, in a little bit of limbo where... Maybe they are going mid. They do indeed. Game of Legion, you know, usually take ramp. They throw the ramp util anyways. They throw a little bit of B util. They try and sell the idea that no one's mid. And the oh my good lord. This round, what, like, come on. It's in the tarpooling. A little bit of a matchmaking tip for, for you. BS Andy's out there that are trying to improve. Use the AWP, double scope. You can have a look through. But you've got to be careful because it goes both ways. It does. Oh. Notan trying his best, but Acor shuts down and rolls kill. As soon as the. Said it is Acor's first time bringing out the big green. Well, this is yellow, or oh, sorry, orange and white. I don't know where I get yellow from. I think he's got a gold sticker on it, maybe. That'll save me. But uh, yeah, first time bringing out the AWP in the previous. He finds two very influential kills out towards ramp. Ultimately, going to find themselves uh, a round off the back of it. Now, I think at this point, Brandon, it's it's just about. Damage limitation, right? How many rounds can Gamer Legion run with it? I think back to the first map, a 6 1 down, right? And they managed to win the half 8 7, and then they managed to, managed to win the game 16 10. Feels like a very repetitive scenario that Gamer Legion find themselves in. Slow starts, but they know how to, to switch it on at kind of halfway through the first half. Ooh. Through both halves, should we? Inventive, mate. Little Molly. Didn't even know that existed. Fair play. No, but that's nice. Yeah, I feel like the difference between Overpass and Vertigo right now is, well, firstly, you've got Masonic on the T side looking incredibly good. But I feel like if you're Gamer Legion, you need as many of these rounds as possible. Just going to be real. That's a great find. Imma. Oh, I like that as well. That's completely unintentional, but it gets them away. And I really like that molly thrown in towards short because it prevents the immediate trade. Now, Imma up and over on this default position. Acor looking to post, but he's burning alive. Very low HP. Might not matter because he is wielding that sniper. Yeah, he does get Torsen. And even, oh, nearly finds Jensi. They've got to be careful though because look at Imo on the map, right? He's so overexposed to short right now that effectively they have to hold it down. Isaac's flank going to enable for one. Buzz is nailed well placed to find Shuey. Problem is, Buzz had a good look in on ramp. Didn't spot anything. Now all the noise is being made. I like this. The ramp contact made first. Kios now going to try and get out shoots his teammate, but no, not meant to be. Placebo that they win everything like the the second half of each half, right? Like the second nah, half. Nah, this is of different. Halves. It's very different, right? Because they are just getting disintegrated. Look at and Lele go. Shubi does have one in response. Four v three scenario. Still context favoring that T side. It's just going to be difficult. Imma now. Well, I mean, really, he needs to find good timing and he needs to find a few. Yeah, might be rewarded with some. Shui is making a lot of noise here, just trying to keep them at bay. But now Buzz's attention turns solely on that fact. Has to try and clear out Imma. In fact, there's going to be a couple of players swinging on him at once, which makes it even more difficult. Shui to step in. 
does deal with no tan and actually transfers back onto Torson. This is now thrown into a winnable one versus one. Bibi, up against him though. Low HP for the pole, for Gen C and Orp on the angle. I mean, if it was a pistol, you'd still count him in to win this. Just about who peaks who. Does he bait the shot? His shoe, he swings out. Oh, he doesn't even need to bait it. He just swings right past. Faster than bullets. And Shuey deflects the chance of Masonic finding eight. It's a fourth on the board for Gamer Legion. I will say one thing though, Brandon. Winning this round in a 1v3. All the it is. Didn't drive through a red light this time. So we passed, you know? That's outrageous. <laughs> well, it did happen. That's how I failed the first time. Oh! oh! Mate, that's, that's unreal as well. Yeah, bomb. And an AK picks up for Shuey. He's the man that got away with armor. Shuey. This is more like it for Gamer Legion. Finding three in the round. Problem is low HP. And it's still only a 2v2. Isaac, I mean, he'll basically be a, a detector, an alarm, a motion sensor to the AK. He knows that there's a player towards T Connector. Shuey doesn't want to make a budge. Instead, he wants to look back towards A. It's four in the round. Buzz. Now picks up the bomb. Now wants to make his way back towards B. Ultimately, we'll have to face Isaac in one way or another. Making steps. Buzz expecting him from spawn. Doesn't it's almost written in the stars for Game of Legion to get a sixth round. Surely is, isn't it? And at 9-6, a pistol round. Feels very doable for Game of Legion on T side. And you're right back into business. Great shot from eight quarter to start things off through the smoke. It just, mate, it's... Like, what can you do? I swear the amount of time you can that orb get a kill. Smoke! Oh, no, no, Tad. Not fun. Not fun at all. Buzz. We'll find Isaac. But 4v2 still. Masonic not looking good. It should be a sixth on the board. Look at this advanced positioning that Buzz has got at the very least. He's had 19 kills. That's very silent. That's gone under the radar of my nose. Looking for maybe even more. And there's potential because all of his pressure here towards B is not only going to cause rotates, but Andalele doesn't even need to commit to this. It's very hard because obviously you've got Acor looking at A. But if Buzz just walks forward, maybe takes some ground, get, get a number of kills. But no, they're going to play it safe. They're going to group it. It's sensible. There is a way where this bomb does get planted. Certainly is. But I don't think it goes any further than a bomb plant, Brandon. It's a good parking as well. Nice smoke as well, actually. It's going to block off even more vision. Probably delay even further. Shuey can't really afford to go running through. Now, of course, you can start to see Gamer Legion are going to be second-guessing themselves, wondering what happens if they do push through that smoke. What happens if they do actually want to sit in it? Wouldn't have been the first time. This is aggressive. I like it from Buzz, though. How many can he catch off guard? Thought that was going to be a flash. Turns away, and as he turns back, and Shuey staring right at him. M4, rather AK barrel, looking right at him. And Lele sends a mass, finding a double. Plays in the gents' position. Acor's got the kit. MO allowed to get on it. And of course, they'll have enough time with that. It's six. But that round gets scary. Two the kills. Well, I was like, yeah, dude. Like, he was absolutely fragging the last time I saw them on this map. And then, well, do we need to say any more other than what you've already addressed? Unfortunate, but it happens, mate. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, it does. Me, yes, they Mirage. Yeah, but to be fair, you fragged out. You got what 4k with the orb to take some OT, so I can't, I can't flame you for that. Hey, Corin, mate. Eh? Starting things off very nicely here for the T side. Thinking about going for more. He tries to spam through the smoke here, but 5v3, Gamer Legion, forcing the fights and then playing passive in the post one. I like it. Him up. Really, the furthest forward for Gamer Legion. No Tan swings out. There's just too many heads presenting themselves all at once. Target selection is very difficult in that moment. And Gamer Legion, well, it looks like this could be their first pistol. Playing, uh, playing against the rifles compared to playing against the pistols. But let's see what the default looks like here. Emma, like a half up ramp smoke. All this does is to isolate the gap angle. Uh, gives him basically a little bit of a boundary to try and spam oh. through. Torsen. There we go. That's a nice way to get your fifth kill. It's an opener in this one. Yeah, it's perfect. Double setup as well. One B. No time locking down middle. However, lots of early utility trying to disrupt this crossfire looking to be set up by Masonic. Kios 
Let's get a little bit more curious towards the bottom of A ramp. But needs to be careful because Torsen's pushed all the way through already. The fact that Masonic have, you know, in the first few moments have found themselves a two-man advantage and Gamer Legion are left without any control. Things, things to see. Great spam from No Time, making it a third as well. Gamer Legion have not had a single say in this round at all, have they? I mean, some damage done to Buzz, but... That's it. Hands over. Oh. He said it. Does it happen? Great night. <laughs> Mate. Yeah. Force and a third. No tan the fourth. Done. Literally, first 10 seconds of showing face, Gamer Legion just get deleted. Nothing more you can do about that. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. It happens to the best of us at any level. But you just, you know, in, in, a, in a high stakes setup. game like this, it is difficult. And yeah, you are right. This mid play, just don't know who, who to look at, right? The first person is the man to take contacts up high. There's two gun barrels looking directly at you if you push here. So, can't afford to overstep the boundary. Oh. It's unbelievably dynamic as well. Take a look towards A. They've just smoked off. They've got all of the control made Sonic. Torsen has pushed them back all the way into their spawn. And then at the same time, look at this reaction. Mid setup falls back as a result. Buzz and Notan now thinking about dropping their utility to flush players out of stairs. Another smoke has just been dropped down towards A ramp. Torsen has this under lock and key. Yeah. Now three players are pushing B stairs. This is really cool from A Sonic. My words. I've never seen that. That is, yeah. Opening kill yet again. No trade. Oh, is it gone? Yeah, abandoned ship on the B push. Now, straight back in towards A. Yeah, Torsen is just picking the angles he wants to fight in. He can just fall back, deploy a flash. Orp is also on short. Buzz is now getting aggressive. It's so dynamic and proactive. Gun barrel spotted on the AWP. Buzz just sprays down two. Oh, nearly goes for the no scope, but it doesn't quite connect. And maybe this is a way in for Emma, but guess what? Notan's here as well. Great find. There's so many players coming in in hot pursuit. Bomb can't even go down. Oh, Surely not. No. In fact, he burns alive. Spreads at the Ooh. last possible moment. Off the time. I don't know, mate. It gets a little more difficult, doesn't it? Especially in the third map. We're talking about the, the mental headspace for, for Masonic. What about for Gamer Legion? Shui didn't check the angle. Isaac goes for the spam. He thinks actually it's a lot deeper. Does spot his head over the top of the smoke. This is so messy. So many angles. And Lele with a second. Isaac just can't keep his eyes on a single target. Just flicking between the two. Doesn't know how to get out. Loses his life to it. There is resistance at A, however. So that is a, a small saving grace for Gamer Legion. Look at him up towards short, just keeping his eyes on the mini-map. But most of it, they're just happy to play retake here. They don't need to over-aggress, throw this back into a little bit of a disarray. Emma's going towards the sandbags, but there's three players already rotated over. All the utility being lined up as well in case they hear the bomb. Buzz. There you go, third kill. Gamer Legion going to be conceding 15, and that should mean 16 to follow suit as well. What a brilliant display we've had so far here, though, Bran. You cannot deny that Masonic deserved this map win from beginning to end. They just excelled in every department. Now, now well, what feels like one round away from delivering us a full three mapper here in the uh, the first round of playoffs here. Round of 16, if I'm not Oh. Okay, not bad, Emma. We'll find one. Torsen trades, though. A call 1v4. Bomb plant needs to happen. Doesn't even want to weigh in. He is done. He's going to save. Six in a row required. At least he's got the orb. For now. Oh, no. A call. Oh! Third map between these two teams. It's, uh... Quite an even one as well. 
Yeah, feels good. Ooh, Emma. Not actually spotting out Torsten, he's just going for the spams. Torsten this time is kind of on his own, but it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness me. Jensi takes the first contact. That baits him chewy perfectly. These deep grenades are just softening up more, and we just saw it pan there. Anna Lele has got all the B control. And now Jensi's going to have a look beneath the smoke on ramp. Good flash. Just force him away, but yet again, trying to bait in the contacts. Torsen trying to use the gap to the right-hand side. Now they deploy the smoke. Thinking someone's up top. Torsen, massive damage. Brilliantly done. Masonic. I, I'm in awe. I am in absolute awe of how well they've played Vertigo. And you cannot deny it. Gamer Legion have been...